our woundedness becomes our strength. In our passage today, Paul reminds the Corinthians to consider their own call as a way to remember the power of God in their lives. Paul says it nicely, but he more or less tells the Corinthians that they were not well-regarded, well-equipped, or well-educated by the standards of the world, much less God's standards. And still, God called them to faith in Jesus Christ and to be a part of God's kingdom mission in the world. From the time of the Corinthians in the first century to today, Christians and the church have had a desire to be seen as respectable, educated, and well-to-do. We want the status that comes with broad cultural acceptance and the recognition of our value from the powers and principalities of the world. That desire is what is behind all the hand-wringing over the loss of a Christian worldview in our nation and in the world. But Paul and the other New Testament writers didn't seem all that concerned about having the respect or approval of the world. In fact, in our passage today, Paul seems pretty hostile toward the idea that worldly respectability was something that Christians or the church should strive for at all. Instead, Paul encourages the Corinthians to remember how God took them in all their brokenness and sinfulness and made them righteous. How God shared with them God's own wisdom and included them in the very heart and life of God. We should strive to live in the light of what God has done for us instead of jockeying for position and power in the world.